नमस्ते आई एम चंद्रजीत राठौर एंड इंटरव्यू टूर लीडर दिस इज इंडिया एंड वेलकम टू माई कंट्री traffic people chaos welcome to delhi new delhi has an estimated population of 25 million people making it the second largest city in the world with mughal forts medieval bazaars office blocks shopping malls you'll be thankful your intrepid leader is helping you navigate the city's chaotic streets The Gurdwara Sri Bangla Sahib Sikh Temple is one of the most sacred Sikh destinations in India. It is one of the major pilgrimage destinations for the Indian Sikh community. Sikhism, fusing elements of Hinduism and Islam, was founded in the 15th and 16th centuries, and they believe that God is larger than religious distinctions. Chaos is a word one could use to describe much of Delhi but in this kitchen which serves thousands of meals per day there is not a trace of chaos volunteering is a spiritual practice for members of the Sikh community the food served is free and available to everyone regardless of their religious affiliation and with intrepid there is always a mid morning snack Our next stop is Delhi's bustling wholesale spice market on Kari Bayoli Street. You'll find nuts, dried fruits, lentils, rice, spices in a rainbow of colors at each stall. Too many to choose from. You'll be enchanted by the sights and smells and enticed to take some home to try your hand at Indian cooking. Humayun's tomb was built in 1570. It was the first garden tomb on the lower Indian continent and was a terrific architectural achievement. The Mughal emperor ruled over parts of what is now Pakistan, Afghanistan and northern India before he quite literally took a fatal fall down a flight of stairs. The monument is surrounded by walls with square gardens and paved waterways to support the lush greenery. It is an ideal environment for Delians looking for a little peace amid the continuous bustle of the city. and restoration is always ongoing the archaeological park has many impressive historic tombs and buildings which have survived incredibly through the ages no starbucks but plenty of chai tea it is also a wonderfully tranquil place particularly at sunset where you can stroll and just enjoy the grandeur of your surroundings the 
overnight train is one of the quintessential India experiences. Yes, they're a bit crowded, yes, they're a bit uncomfortable. But you'll bond with your trip mates, you'll meet the locals, you'll see the countryside and the slums, and you'll catch a glimpse of what it's like to be an Indian going about their daily lives. From one city to another, it's all the same. Honking horns, tuk-tuks, and every kind of transportation can be seen. And cows. Lots of cows. Situated on the banks of the Ganges, Varanasi is one of the oldest and still inhabited cities on earth. It is the ultimate destination for all Hindu pilgrims and is full of temples and shrines. It may not be one of the world's cleanest cities, but there is no doubt that it's one of the world's most amazing. It is Shiva's favorite city, and definitely the spiritual capital of India. As evening falls, we will be serenaded by traditional musicians on our Ganges River cruise. <laughs> 